Hey guys, so wouldn't it be nice if you could write some switch statements and then not have defects? So I'm gonna show you how to prevent that with TypeScript here. So what I have on the left-hand side is a TypeScript file and then the translation to an ES5 JavaScript uh, on the right-hand side. And so what you see here, um, I'm gonna, as I save, be changing uh, what the script actually does. So if I just say, this is Ricky, and I save, you'll see on the right-hand side, it gets updated. So every time I save, that's when the right-hand side will get updated. So what I wanna show you uh, is a simple switch uh, case that uh, you know with the TypeScript is very similar to JavaScript. So like, for example, if I give a number here, I can do case is 10, and then what if the case is 12? Um, and I can say, here, now I found case 10. And then here I found console.log case, whoa, case uh, 12. So like so. Now um, the TypeScript compiler is actually smart enough for us to tell us that we actually can't just type in the magic number 12 and then magically map it to case 10. Um, so it's saying it found an error. So that's great, that's pretty intelligent. Um, now it's not as clear cut though when the return value comes from uh, another module or another function. So I actually wrote a function just to get us started here and it's just called get result. And it's from this other file that I have. And so get result is going to give us a result. And the return type will be the type Boolean. So if I say get result, I will get some sort of result, some value, and it's gonna be either true or false. And if I take a look here, yep, it returns a Boolean. So if it is true, do something. If it is false, do something else. So I'll say case is true. And then I'll say, whoop, case is true. Then I'll say case is false, like so. So you see that translated on the right-hand side there. Uh, you'll notice that um, there's no error now because the return type uh, or the return value um, has only the two types and there's no other values that it knows that it can be, at least TypeScript doesn't know. Um, it is probably best, like if this was to return some sort of like possibly null or whatnot to add a case for that as well. But I just wanna show you the simple case that you might follow uh, along with here. So this is, the true case and then the false case. And then of course you can have multiple statements here. So I can say another log for true, like so. Here we go. And then you'll see on the right hand side, it's updated. Uh, I have seen sometimes people will put like a block of code here too, which is totally possible. If that's something you wanna do, you can do that. It's gonna translate there the same way, um, JavaScript on the right hand side. Uh, but something I want to point out here is that what happens when you run this? Um, what is going to happen? So um, I'll tell you right now, if we just look at result, it returns true. So results that should only be just this up here at the top, right? Okay, so if that, uh, if that assumption is correct. Okay, so what we have here um, on the left-hand side is what we expect to have uh, hi highlighted here. So we're gonna have the console log and that's gonna be it. That's all it's gonna have, right? So let's go ahead and run that. And we'll say index.js. Okay, it said hello world, but then it said tr case is true and then it said case is false. So this is known as a fall through. So TypeScript has a fall through um, when, and, and JavaScript, same thing, um, when this happens. So to make this uh, work the way that we want it to, we would actually do a break here. So let's go ahead and run that. So I can see here, uh, we already have that there's another log for true. And in this case, that's, that's great, that's fine. It didn't do the false case. Um, however, uh, if I wanted to, let's say, change this to be false, now it should print the false case so it does, that's all good and correct. Um, but let's change this now to like, I don't know, a number. Um, well, first of all, knows that this isn't a Boolean anymore. 
and let's just say it's 10, maybe it's 12, and I'll just change this to 10, change this to 12. Now there's many other numbers here, so I don't know, case 99, right? And uh, this here, we'll say is 99. So as you can see, a lot of these cases might build up. Um, and if you forget to put a break in here, well, if this returns 12, well, then what's gonna happen um, is that you'll actually get the case 12 and the case 99 because it's a fall through. Um, kind of strange, right? Uh, so you just kind of get all of them. Uh, you have to add in this break. Break. There you go. Now it won't do that. Tough thing is you gotta remember to add that. And TypeScript alone, the default compiler settings uh, doesn't give you an option um, or it doesn't give you the help out of the box. So in your TS config file, I wanna show you that there is a no fall through case switch and you just turn that on to be true. Now you go back here to your file um, and you go ahead and save it or compile it. Um, you will see that there will be some sort of uh, issue here with some of these cases. So here it is. Um, no fall through allowed. And since 99 is the last one, it's not giving us a warning on that, but let's just make another case here for 10 um, and move this down. We'll say this is four, or for 100. So then see like the 99 case gets underlined and said that there's an error. Um, so now you actually get the help um, so that you don't get some weird kind of output like so, where all of a sudden it does case 12 and 99 and 10. Um, this could cause you a lot of headache if you don't have this turned on and if you're not looking for the error itself. Um, so I advise you guys to turn this on, make your switch cases a little bit easier to debug and then make them easier to test. Of course, with an actual uh, unit test, if you wrote this, it might be easy to catch it right off the bat. However, uh, maybe you don't always think of all the cases. You think you're done, but you're not actually. So this is just one other tool that can help you with that. So now in order to fix this, you just need to do break. And now you are forced to always write that, which is great. It'd be great if it just, you know, took that out automatically. There are some languages that do that um, and that just break for you. But here you go, this is it. This is what you needed um, in order to make your switch cases better. So thanks for watching today. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them below. Um, if you wanna check out some of the other videos, go ahead. It might be helpful for you. Um, have a good one.